Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here with Dental L Mobile. Hi, Jean. So I was just teaching um, a course, doing a lecture on the coronavirus for dental professionals and how we need to be prepared, how things are probably going to change, and just sort of talking about the virus as a whole and what we need to be concerned about for our patients, meaning the questions that you will all probably ask us and how we can answer them. Um, I was just going to share the whole lecture with you guys, but then I thought there's too much dental terminology. You won't know what I'm talking about anyway. So this is the patient version of the coronavirus and what us dental professionals are preparing for. So just so you guys know, as dental professionals, we have always been practicing standard precautions, meaning we treat every patient as if you're highly infectious. That might sound silly, but that's what we are trained to do. Meaning like masks, eyewear, like all of our stuff, all of our um, personal protective equipment that you guys have heard so much about, we have, that's just how we have been practicing. We disinfect everything that can't be sterilized. Everything that can be sterilized is, um, you know, new instruments per patient, obviously, um, wrapping everything, all of that. So none of that will change. But there are some specific things though now that we have learned about the coronavirus and how I'm thinking they will be changing things when we can finally get back to work. So I'm just kind of bringing up my notes here. Um, so as of now, it is April the 14th. Um, we can only treat patients, and I say we, but, it, but it's actually dentists. So dentists can only treat patients on an emergency basis. It doesn't matter if you're a dental hygienist, they don't care, it's dentists only. So on an emergency basis, meaning if you have a toothache that's, that's keeping you up at night and you just can't handle it, that is an emergency. Toothaches are an emergency. If you have any, if you have any issues, need something, talk to your dentist. But they are also saying that, that we need to be pre, um, like pre-screening patients, meaning asking them questions. Have you, or were you traveling, which is now past that now, but have you been sick? Have you been tested for the, for the coronavirus? Because as we know, you may have it and not have any symptoms. So that is why it's emergency only. But they are saying that they want us to be asking every patient that, and they don't want actually anybody at the front desk right now. So if you have been to the dental office for an emergency, you probably only saw the dentist and their assistant because they want to limit things as much as possible. And you might be wondering why, like what's the big deal in a dental office? So the thing about dental offices is there are a lot of aerosols everywhere because we are constantly using high-speed hand pieces we are sterilizing we are using things that just simply create a lot of aerosols every time we rinse the mouth that's creating aerosols it's crazy if you think about it um so that is why they are shut down for emergencies only, but they are talking to us about, well, when we can get back to work, we need to understand that, that we need to limit those aerosols as much as possible. And one thing that they will be asking us to do as of now anyway, is to have the patients, some of you guys, um, pre-rinse with a 1.5% hydrogen peroxide solution. That will actually help to limit any of that bacteria that's in the mouth. So if any aerosols are produced, which will happen from rinsing, from using a handpiece, from polishing, any of that actually creates aerosols. If that happens, that bacteria load will be greatly, it's just a lot less. Okay, so that's what they want us to do, to um, have you rinse for one full minute, because anything less than that doesn't really help too much. Um, and if you guys were curious, um, a lot of Listerines have a 1.5% hydrogen peroxide in there. So it doesn't have to be like a hydrogen peroxide diluted solution. Listerine's fine, but not all of them have that. So check the back. But I will likely be asking my lovely patients to do that. But it's, it's going to be nice, and I think it's going to help a lot, the fact that I do mobile. If you guys feel more comfortable, I can come right to you. So all of those aerosols that I just talked about, 
you would not be exposed to with other patients because you're not going to an actual office. It's just your own aerosols. Yes, I will be exposed to them, but guess what? They will be making us wear quite the per, uh, personal protective equipment. I'm probably going to scare the kids, but I hope not. So what they want us to wear now are those N95 masks. But the thing about those masks, you guys, is they have to be properly fitted. Nobody's available to come fit them for us. So they are saying to wear that mask, which is like a heavy duty mask. It like, it's crazy. Um, plus a normal mask that you have all probably seen me wear over top of that to, to protect that mask even more. They want us to wear a face shield to cover everything like this. For those of you guys who have seen me, I have those lovely safety glasses that have like um, the magnifiers on, right? Plus the light. So I'll be wearing that with my heavy duty masks and a face shield, but guess what? They also want us to wear a hair cap. I get it, but I'm probably gonna scare the kids. <laughs> So I don't know how many kids I'll be seeing after this, but that is what they're saying. Okay, so maybe prep your kids now. <laughs> Tell them that Andrea might look funny, but I will do a great job. In fact, I'll, pro I'll probably take like pictures of me so that kids can see me first. So, I'm, so I don't completely scare them. I don't know. I'll think about something, you guys. But that's what they're talking about. Um, also, a lab coat to cover our arms, which I do sometimes anyway. You may or may not have seen me wear that. But now they're telling us to wear that. They might be telling us to actually change out of our uniform um, after we see a patient. So, for, for, so for, for me, when I see patients mobile, I might be changing at your house into like another set of a uniform. That's what they're saying. So that if there's any, any aerosols on me, I'm, I'm changing, I'm putting it into a sealed plastic bag in my car, but it will be sealed and that's it, I know. So those are just some things that they're talking about, just in case you're curious. Um, as for instrument processing, that's all staying the same. You know, we don't um, sterilize any differently. Um, for those of you who haven't seen me yet, I do have my own lab in my house downstairs with a full um, sterilizer, all of that. So I have a dirty side, I have a clean side, it, it, it has been audited, you know, all of that. So in case you guys are wondering, well, how do you sterilize your, your, your instruments? That is how. So I do have that in my house. When I see patients at their house, I put all of those um, dirty instruments in a dirty labeled container. I put that away. Um, I put it in a sealed plastic bag. Like I put the container in a sealed plastic bag. I keep it in the trunk of my car. And then um, of course, every patient gets a new set of, of um, instruments. So that will not change. Um, the disinfecting won't change. So you will see me um, disinfect everything that I have used, including the chair, the stool, my compressor unit, um, the air water syringe. So I still disinfect everything. So that hasn't changed either. But what I will probably do is I will make sure that patients can, can see me do that. So you, you will see me do it before I see you and then afterwards too. So then that way, if you have any questions. Um, so that hasn't changed. So everything else hasn't changed, but you might not have thought to ask these questions before. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, a common question that might be on, on everybody's mind is when can I get back to work? I don't know yet. They have still said it's going to be until May. So I believe this was yesterday. They had said it's going to be at least another 30 days. I know. I just want to get back to work, you guys. I miss you all, but I get it. So it will be probably the end of May. I'm not booking any appointments because I just don't know when we will be getting back. I don't want to book something for you guys and then have to reach out to everybody to cancel 
them again. So I'm not booking anything yet, but as soon as I do hear something, please send me a message, let me know, and then I will book people as they come. I will be working very hard to see as many people as possible because I know you guys want your teeth cleaned, you want to keep things healthy. So I hope that this helped though, you guys. If I was confusing in any part, please just let me know. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.